Here's what you should do immediately after you buy a brand new car. First thing you gotta do is to tint your car because you don't want people looking at you inside the car while you're doing your business. They always say you gotta wrap it before you tap it. You wanna get a high quality tint because it's gonna reduce the heat that's coming into your cabin. And first of all, you will use less of your AC to cool you down. And second of all, when you're parking your car outside, a lot of the UV and heat will be blocked by the tint. You will do less damage to your interior when you're parking your car outside. This tint that we chose blocks 99% of the ultraviolet and 99% of infrared that's coming into the cabin. So it's always good. So we just got done with tinting the car. It's so clean, you can't even see the cuts. The next thing that we gotta do is to PPF the car, but the owner of the car, which is my cousin, wanted to look different. He chose a specific wrap by Atmos Shield that is not only a wrap, but it's a PPF. PPF, for those of you who don't know, is short for paint protection film. It's a layer of film that you cannot stab through. So your paint is gonna be protected from the sun, from the harsh elements of the road, like the asphalt, rock chips coming off other people's tires or your own tires. We'll make sure you prevent all of that, your value of your car when you're selling the car will be higher because your car has not been repainted and the paint is in absolutely mint condition. So I absolutely recommend you guys do that if you bought a brand new car. So the wrap that we went for is a wrap and a PPF combined because of the material that they've used with the wrap. Normal wrap, normally it's, it doesn't really protect your paint. All right, so if you wanna get the best quality wrap, best quality tint, best quality PPF at an affordable price, make sure to click on the first link down below in the description. Their prices are already incredible, but they are giving an additional 10% off if you tell them that I sent you. So click on that link. I've been coming here for years. You guys, the OG subscribers know that. My five series was done here. My three series was done here. My bike is done here. And the brand new XV is being done here. So. No, 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 you're not putting that in the video. the car back the car looks absolutely beautiful the next thing you gotta do when you just buy a brand new car is something that is quite controversial but I still believe in it most cars and most motorcycles and most like everyone still have this in their owners manuals but the problem is nobody reads owners manuals you gotta break in your car uh, th these engines are not meant to be at just 400 kilometers. With most engines, your first service is at 1,000 kilometers, and that is because there are contaminants that your oil may collect when the engine is brand new from the process of building the engine. So that's why you should not push the car really fast. Granted, nowadays, uh, manufacturers do a much better job than 10 years ago, so what I did just now is not gonna ruin the engine forever. We don't, we are not gonna need a new engine after the first service. It's still good practice. So how do you break in your engine? Every car is a little different, but just a general rule of thumb, keep your RPM below 3000 RPM. And you may tell me, oh, all right, I will take a long road trip uh, on the highway and I will get the 2000 kilometers done within the first, what, like, two days. Doing that is not the best idea either because your car must be broken in in different rev ranges. So it should not be a constant 2000, 3000 RPM. It should be a variety of revs between one to 3000 RPM. Make sure to look at your service intervals and properly service your car. The main benefit of buying a brand new car is that your car has free service and warranty you should not have to worry about much other than taking the car on time make sure everything is done in the correct order this car has like 100,000 kilometers worth of 
warranty and free service. Should be good for the next five years. Most people sell their cars after the first five years anyways. My next and last point applies to any car. Doesn't matter whether it's a new car or it's a used car. When you start up your car, do not immediately put it in gear and rev off. Let your cold start sequence finish. Let your car warm up just a little bit before you drive off. There's a blue icon in front of most cars for the cold start sequence for a reason. Even though the car lets you put it in gear and abuse it while it's cold, it's a good idea if you don't do it because it will help the longevity of your engine. You can comment down below and let me know what you think about this. The last time I said this, I got pretty interesting comments from industry experts uh, on my TikTok comments. You know, people in their mo mother's basement had a lot of ideas about how this works. So I'm pretty interested to see what my long form viewers, which are, which seem to be more educated, have to say about this. If you like the video, subscribe and share it with your friends who are looking to buy a brand new car. I'll see you in the next one. Oh, my camera. <laughs>